as I see him not be, get out there beforehand, on, honestly, against cover three and cover four, they almost never do. Then we're just going to pass lead that out and away towards the sideline. Fire that in. That's like a 17-yard gain. Thing that you say about me. My dogs like to play mad in 2K. But one thing they don't do is play about me. My homeboy Tyler, he playing South what is going on guys king reggie and we are back today we are continuing that trips tight and inspired offense out of the kansas city chiefs playbook now if you're new to the channel new to the series this whole scheme like i said is inspired by trips tight end but there is going to be three main differences the first main difference is the running back will be on the weak side so it'll be on the same side as the three receivers that'll give us different run plays a really good trap, some really good bubble screens and read option plays that you will not find in a normal trips tight end. I'll throw up a card now of the first video in this series, guys. I go over the audibles, adjustments, the personnel I use, and then the three really unique run plays that I use in this scheme. The second thing that makes this trips tight end scheme different, guys, is there's just really unique passing concepts that are not in a normal trips tight end scheme. And then the third thing that really brings a whole different, you know, wrinkle to the table with this offense is we can actually get four wide receivers on the field instead of three receivers in a tight end. So the two formations we are using in this whole scheme, guys, is Trey Y Flex Week and Trio Offset Week, Kansas City Chiefs playbook, look, playbook, like I said before. So like I said, really unique. We can get four receivers on the field. So we want to go over to packages, go to the package, tight end wide out. That'll sub in here. We have Tyree Kill in at our tight end. Then we just go to sub, sub out our tight end for another receiver. And there we go. We have four receivers on the field. So that is the idea with this whole scheme, guys. If you are new to the channel, also I do things a little bit different. Hold on, guys. I'm going to do really, really in-depth full play breakdowns. I try to go way deeper, give you guys way more information than most people, and we're going to have real gameplay footage of me showing you this actually works against real opponents. So, the play we are going over today is PA Vert, a really, really good play to attack zone and man coverage. I'm going to have two different setups for you guys. Let's get into the first one. All right, guys, PA Vert setup number one. Now, if you guys are new, I do a screen like this for basically every play I put out. Basically, the idea is you guys can come back on the screen whenever you want. Pause the video, go in practice mode, bring it up in a game if you need it. It'll show you all the adjustments, our reads versus man and zone. Sometimes on certain plays, I'll also be like, cover three, we're going to go here. Cover two, we'll go here. This play, we're going to read it the same versus man and zone. Real quick, with this play, not all my plays, but with this one, we will need abilities. So we will need Hot Route Master to do this play. I go over it in my first video in the series, guys. I use Hot Route Master a lot of the time, and for this scheme, I do use it. Not all my plays will you need it, but this one you will. So the adjustments, trips to the wide side of the field for setup number one. We want to put the middle receiver on the trip side on a corner route. That, that is one of the hot routes. Put them on a corner route. Then we want to put a, a streak on the inside most receiver on the trip side. Then the outside receiver, we want to put it on a drag in motion across the field. And then we want to put a post on the tight end who we have as our fourth receiver on the single side, you know, receiver side. Now our reads versus zone, we want to look to the corner route. If the flat defender doesn't get outside of that player, Throw right after the break. Worked really, really well against cover three and cover four. Not as good against cover two, but cover three and cover four, guys. I'll show you guys on the field, but this is absolutely going to destroy it. Then the second read, if the user leaves to the middle of the field, throw the backside post. So a lot of the time when they see this motion, they are going to hop out to that corner out because we hit it a lot of the time. Then we have the backside post in the middle of the field. And then if both those are covered, then we just have the drag underneath. Reads versus man. I won't come back to this screen. I'm just, I think I only have one or two clips against man. Basically, the corner route, I go over this a bunch in my videos, guys. These corner routes, I have route tech on this player. Another ability that I tell you guys I really like to use on this player. I go over that in the first video. Throw um, route tech on this player. Put them on, on that corner route, and if they don't have one step ahead, that'll be basically a catch 99% of the time. Then the second read is going to be the post route over the middle. Really, really works well against man coverage, and then we have a motion drag coming across the field. 
All right, so we have all our adjustments in. We have our corner route, drag across the field, clear out route with the backside post. Then we also have this running back that we can check down if we ever need to, guys. So this is the route we're looking at. So when we bring this drag across the field, we're actually going to see the, the all the coverage motion in a few steps. That's going to us, give us a lot of room to hit this outbreaking corner route. Let's take a look. So you can see the coverage come inside. So now we're going to look to the flat defender right off the off, off the snap. So this is the flat defender right here. So we see off the snap, he does not get outside of our player before he breaks. As soon as I see him not be, get out there beforehand, on, honestly, against cover three and cover four, they almost never do. Then we're just going to pass lead that out and away towards the sideline, fire that in. That's like a 17-yard gain right along the sideline. So if their flat defender does not hop outside, guys, we can throw that basically every single time. One more time, guys, motion across the field. So now... This is going to be the flat defender again in cover three where eyes are just going to go on him. Right away, we see him backpedaling. He is not getting outside. So basically, guys, because we have two routes going up the field, there's nobody threatening the outside to make this flat defender feel like he has to jump out there. So now when, now when we have our outside player shooting out, he just does not react even close enough. Fight, pass lead that out and away towards the sideline. Fired in another 17-yard game. All right, guys, same setup, motion across the field. So our eyes right away, we're going to look to the corner route. But on this play, I'm not sure if this is a flat defender or a deep blue, but this player does a really good job of just staying outside. I don't know if this is a weird double flat or what, but basically this player does a really good job of staying inside. So now we're going to look to the user. The user stays on the right side of the field, so now we're going to look to this post route over the middle. We're just going to wait for him to clear this underneath coverage, and we have a really nice, so nice soft spot in the zone right here, guys. So the corner route's going to pull out the flat or the zone defenders here. We have the clear out route from circle, so now we have a really nice hole right there. We can just fire that in, get down, gain a 16 yard. Same thing, motion across. Going to be watching this player here again. Snap the ball on this. I honestly could have thrown that right there, but I don't know why. I just kind of got scared off it. So now my eyes went to backside. The user's running with this route here. Now we have the backside post route. I threw this a little bit late, so it became a tight window, but let's rewind a little bit. If we rewind a little bit, guys, I really should have thrown that right here. As soon as he clears that underneath zone coverage, we can see that hole right in the middle of the field. So if I throw that half a second earlier, it's just not even going to be a tight throw. I held it a little long, but still able to get it in there, fit it in with that low ball, and the zone coverage just really isn't going to react very well. Okay, one more time, guys. Motion across the field. So we're going to look at the zone coverage on this side. The flat defender does a pretty good job of kind of getting out there. Honestly, could have thrown it again, but the user goes out there. So I just kind of thought it was a little congested. So now my eyes are going to go backside. So you can see he double flatted on this play. So he has six players playing along each sideline and then his user hops out to this player too. So that's just going to leave a huge hole in the middle of the field for this post route fire that in there just super easy play as soon as their user vacates the middle of the field they're double flatting because we have a lot of plays that attack both of those flats then you know middle of the field wide open okay here we have against man coverage guys so i want to show you how good this corner route works against man coverage when you put route tech on this player he is actually absolutely going to toast him in man coverage so that's always going to be our first read and then our second read will be this backside post guys it does a really good job against man coverage too so right here we see this ability light up guys so there's just he's going to get a lot of separation but we can see here on this post route they put a spy on the field but if there was no spy here there's a really nice hole for this this player against man coverage as well but we're just going to fire it into that outside corner route against man coverage guys that's an easy walk-in touchdown i've went over it lots of my videos guys this is one of the most underrated routes in the game all right guys pa verts number two this is the second setup 
kind of a similar idea of a play but now instead of attacking the outside really well with that outbreaking corner out now we're going to really be attacking the middle of the field so i really like this play if they start calling a lot of double flats if the user is just vacating the middle of the field a lot now we have three routes that are really doing a good job of attacking the middle of the field so adjustments this time we want the trips to the short side of the field then we're all, all we're going to do is we're going to put the middle receiver on the trip side on a post route and then we're going to put the outside receiver on the trip side on a curl route and oh I didn't put it on the screen but we're gonna motion him across the field sorry about that guys yeah motion him across the field and snap him I like to snap him three to four steps after our tight end our fourth receiver on the single side now our reads versus zone really easy guys look to the post route over the middle of the field where he lines up and how he cuts and the, and the curl routes underneath, you're going to find this player has a really nice opening in the middle of the field a lot of the time. Then basically, if that's covered, we're going to look to both cor our curl routes in the middle of the field. They're, they have a nice separation on them. A lot of the time, they'll both be open and just throw to whoever the user doesn't go to. And then our third read is just check down to the running back underneath. Our reads versus man is going to be the post route. And then we can just low ball to either curl route. Okay, let's look at this setup. Okay, here's our setup, guys. We have that post route. Here's the player we're motioning across the field. We have a really unique curl route that's gonna just sit in a really nice soft, nice soft spot in the zone, guys. I like to leave this route on the field. It's just a nice clear out route. It's gonna get the flat defenders wide and then push people up field. And then we have the curl route just kind of breaking in underneath him. So motion across the field. Here we go, right off the snap, guys. We can see a really nice, so they bring a bit of a blitz. So now it's gonna be the user. If he, we're kind of putting him in a double read here. If he sits with this curl route, we're gonna hit the post behind. If he goes to the post, we're gonna hit the curl. So he goes with the curl route. We have the wide open post in this really nice soft, nice soft spot in the middle of the field, beating the blitz, fired in there. Same thing, motion across the field. Gonna be looking to the backside first, the short side of the field. Going to be looking to the post route. So on this play, the user goes to the, you know, there's through, kind of the flow of the play is going to go that way. So a lot of the time, the users are going to go that way. The This player is just in a really nice spot. When he cuts over the middle of the field, this is another, you know, hook curl route that or hook curl that's getting taken by this curl route in the middle of the field. And we can just see this huge hole for this post route backside, guys. Really like to lowball it that in there. It's just a super quick and easy dog. Okay, same thing. Motion across the field. Play action. So right here, we could have hit the post route really, really early. But I just didn't really love it. I probably should have thrown that right away. But now, if we let we leave that, now we're just going to look at the two hook routes, the two curl routes in the middle of the field, guys. And we're just going to read the users. The flat defender really never covers this route. And then if the user doesn't play on this route, it's going to be open a lot of the time. So now we're just going to pick our poison. The user kind of just plays in the middle of it. We're just going to low ball that into that, that motion to over curl. Same thing, motion over the curl route. Look to the backside post. This player drops underneath it. Once again, we probably could have thrown that backside post. Like I'm telling you guys, it is open a really good amount of the time. But when I see the user hop way out there, that just makes me kind of just be like, okay, I'm probably not going to throw that right now. So then we have the clear out route. We see the flat defender, guys. He just gets too wide. This curl route just does a really good job of sitting in between flat defenders and the you know curl the uh, yellow zones in the middle of the field by the linebackers. Then we also have the running back that's just gonna you know help pull these flat defenders down. Low ball that into that curl route again. Motion over, play action once again. Probably could have thrown that post route right there. Um, just you know your eyes got to be. It's super super quick. So if you don't hit it right away, it does become a little late, but. Could have thrown that, but basically this route was so open in the middle of the field. The user's on this curl route. This is what I'm saying, guys. Like he has three defenders on this side of the field. So if he's double flatting that side, there's just not going to be enough people in the middle of the field. Quickly throw that curl route in over the middle of the field. Make a guy miss. Gain 15 yards. One more time, guys. Same thing. Motion across the field. Here we go. So on this one, they do a much better job of getting under the post route. So not open. Now it's just looking at the user. So which curl route is he going to? He goes to the outside curl route. So now we have that middle curl route right in the middle of the field. Low ball that in. That's a gain of 10 yards down to like the three yard line. Okay, one more time against zone coverage, guys. Motion across the field. So on this one, this player here does a really good job getting under the post route. Could have maybe hit it later. 
could have thrown the low ball, but this player did a, did a good job of kind of just circling all three and just making me kind of nervous to throw any of them. So at that point, guys, we can always just check it down to this running back underneath, make a guy miss. Really, really easy read. It's a really nice check down, guys. And also, it's just going to pull down those flat fins. All right, guys, one more time. I just want to show you this play against man coverage. Now, I will not call this play a ton when I know they're running man coverage. I prefer the other setup better. But if they do run man coverage, guys, we're going to look to this bat, this post route really good. And then we can just low ball either hook route. So motion across the field. Going to look to this backside post right away. Basically on break, we can just low ball that in there. But we could have also load balled to either of these hook routes. Hooks are good against man coverage. Not always great, but they work pretty good. And then we just have that backside post route that does work very well. All right, guys, that is it. That is PA Verts. Really good play. Like I said, against man and zone coverage. Does a really good job of attacking both the sidelines and the middle of the field. I hope you guys are enjoying trip this, you know, trips tight end inspired scheme. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I think it is super, super powerful and just very unique if you guys really like trips tight end but you just kind of get bored of running the same old setups i you know my all my stuff is i i think is very very unique so thank you guys so much for tuning in do not forget to sub sub to the sub to the channel right now leave a like on this video it just helps me you know get my name out there i want to keep making these videos i gotta grow to make them and then uh yeah so thank you guys so much for the support my name is king reggie and i am out